All right, guys, it's happening. It's going down live. I see, let's chase this car. Okay. All right, guys, welcome to another time out with me on the channel. Today we are e-biking. This is still for kids, but bigger kids and young adults. Uh, but the good thing is that I can ride this thing. Actually, it can, you know, accommodate up to 400 pounds. So I'm gonna benefit from this as well. My wife can ride it. My, my older daughter can ride it, and in the future, my son too can ride it. So, this is a good buy, don't you think so? This is how it comes, almost ready. Um, everything, you see, it's ready to go. That's how it comes. This comes in the box, the seat. You have to install this yourself. Um, a pedal and uh, the charging cord and the, the manual or instructions. Okay, so that's all. It comes almost, it's in fact, it's ready, if you ask me. All you have to do is get the seat in place. Let's do this. Okay, there's a lever here to make it um, accessible. And you lock, lock the lever, sturdy. Let's do this. Now, they should be labeled the left and the right. Okay, so which means the right. And now, so we're gonna roll it on this side. And I think the right goes clockwise. Let's see. Okay, they put the arrow here to show you go clockwise. So the arrow goes, which is very helpful. Okay, I didn't want to do that first, but uh, it looks like I have to. This is actually ready to go. You grab it up and voila. But you have to lock it. That was the key. The key just fell. So we'll get that up. Okay, locked in place. Let's, let's bring it down. This is the horn. And this needs to be facing, this reflector needs to be facing outwards. That's like a LED screen, which is basically telling you your speed and information. And surprise, surprise, where you charge the power, the engine or the battery, it's right here at the back. A tiny hole, I hope, right there. And when you connect it to the wall, the light on, uh, for a minute I was looking for the light to indicate charging here, but it's not there, it's on this device, just like some of my cameras. It's on this device, so you wanna watch out. And the, uh, there's a warning on overcharging. It won't damage your unit, but it will affect the battery life. But this light turns red when it's charging and turns green when it's done charging, at which time you should take it off because longer charges uh, may affect the battery life. So remember that. Okay, uh, first thing I did was to charge the unit. So that part is done deal. Okay, let's see. So that, did you see that? I don't think you did. <clears throat> It's not that bad, huh? Don't mind my jacket. My jacket keeps exaggerating my tummy, okay? It's not that bad. Okay, this is our headlight, front lamp. It says 36 volts and 10 amps battery. All right, so let's fix this uh, stuff. Now this L, L for the left. So the left would take a anti-clockwise turn and the arrow is indicated here. 
I guess this stuff will help you tighten better. It's the only tool you need. Right side. I don't know why they're not exactly, see that? They are not exactly the same. The other one, I didn't need it, but um, this, this works for it. Okay, now the bike is ready. Yeah, I see this working. All right, let's, now we start for the first time. Let's take a look how this comes up for the first time. So this is the switch and this is just for a grip, but this is the power. This is what moves. If you turn it backwards, you ready to move? There you go. That's your acceleration. And then your light. All right, guys. It's happening. It's going down live. I see. Let's chase this car. Okay. slow down and make it turn So, we're good. Let me go through. Yeah, how about that? <laughs> 